Okay, so this is RetroPie 4.6 just loading up, and uh, I'm trying to. I've been trying all sorts of things to be able to dump discs with a separate DVD writer. Uh, so I've got a PlayStation One disc in, uh, an original uh, which is Rally Cross on the PlayStation One, and uh, I want to be able to dump it to be able to use it in RetroPie. Now I saw that it came up in the update that uh, disc dumping is available and also playing games from disc. But the, I've looked everywhere, and the only place I can find it is under RetroPie and under RetroArch. I thought this was going to be much easier than it was. So, uh, you see I've got dump disk there. If I go to Settings, Directory. So if I go to Directory, uh, and you can see there's a Downloads folder, uh, but for some reason my Downloads folder uh, wasn't working. So if we go to media, media and USB, RetroPie mount, because this is a PlayStation 1 disc, I'm going to try and save it in the PlayStation folder so that RetroPie will recognize it. And if anybody knows all the different, there's, there's very little information on this as to, as to where things can be stored and, and how to dump discs uh, on the RetroArch on the RetroPie site, I just can't find an awful lot of information on it. I did find a little video uh, on RetroArch, but it was on a laptop, so it doesn't really necessarily apply to the Pi. So use this directory. So I'm now downloading to RetroPie-mount forward slash ROMs, because I read that it saves them automatically in the downloads directory, so I'm hoping if I change that, um, it should dump it there. And the reason I'm changing that is because if I go to load core, there are no cores on this because it's RetroPie and it's RetroArch within it. You don't seem to be able to use uh, RetroArch separately. So let's go back and uh, go to dump disk. That's my DVD drive that's showing up. And you can see on the bottom left hand side, dumping disk. Because I tried this yesterday and I, I looked everywhere. I don't know why it's... sounds like it's not reading my disk properly. Which is weird because it was just now. But I did stop it halfway through. So I'm going to unplug the DVD drive. And hopefully it will give up. Yeah, failed to read. Right, so let's plug that back in. So let's try that again. No disk inserted. Oh, I can hear it's uh, it's spinning up. Dump disk. DVD drive. It's more like it. So let's do this first three percent in real time, just to show you how long it's going to take. It looks like it's going to take a while. Yeah. So if I go back now to load content, I wonder if it's going to show up media. USB, RetroPie mount, ROMs. And this is the beta version of 4.6, so not everything necessarily will work, right? So there's nothing showing up there yet. I'm hoping it will show up in this folder because the issue I had was there is no downloads folder. I suppose I possibly could create it. But then you'd think that it would automatically recreate it when it was trying to write a disk to it. So on the other video I looked at, it was, I think it just came up, load content, came, downloads I think came up here. But you can see there is no downloads there. Oh, there's a downloads directory. So what was that under? That was under config retroarch. Okay, well that's two places I can check. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so this is the video that uh, I was using. It looks like, I can't really see the screen. Oh, it's got Windows written on it. Oh, but it's running Ubuntu. So it's running Ubuntu. So there is hope. I could try and do RetroArch on Ubuntu, but I'm not sure if it's the x86 version. So you can see here they've got load disk, dump disk, and it picks up the drive just like mine does. This works exactly the same. 
Uh, but then after that's happened, they go into the first layer and load content, downloads, and there you can see the CD-ROM files are there. So mine are either going to be there or it's writing it to the USB stick. So let's find out. Okay, so we have a tick, so it should have done it. Uh, so let's go back. So load content. So there is a downloads folder here. So there's nothing there. Uh, but if I go to media and USB, retroprime mount, ROMs, PlayStation. There doesn't seem to be anything in there, does there, still? So let's go back into Retropy and see if Retropy picks it up. Uh, so I need to probably restart this. Yeah, because there's nothing extra showing up there. So... Restart. Scan through to see if it can find something. Oh, I got two discs. So I also scanned in, I don't know which one's which, I also scanned in UEFA Striker, so it does work. So maybe what I was doing last night worked as well. Yeah, it must have done. So you might not need to change that directory. Press the end to uh, PCSX rearmed. So the first one might not work because I quit out of one. So this is UEFA Striker. So the rally game isn't working at the moment, but it looks like I have successfully ripped a disc. So where is it? And go into RetroPie and file manager does it give me access to my usb stick here oh yeah it should do through media and usb retropi mount but roms gosh it's slow to go down <laughs> is there a better way can i oh i can do it on the keyboard that's much quicker p s x click on that Oh, look, CD-ROM. So it is dumping it on the USB stick. 7563. Now, I don't know if that's a unique number for the disk or it's just a number it creates uh, when it creates a disk. So let's have a look and see if I can find that downloads folder and see if anything went into there. Right, so I'm still on the USB stick. So I want to go back to... Of course, it's RetroArch, isn't it? It's It would be saving it in. So I'm not looking for RetroPie here. Retro, oh. RetroArch downloads. So there is definitely a CD in there as well. So it has done something into RetroArch downloads. And that's a different number and the time's completely wrong anyway because I don't, don't bother to set the time. So it looks like uh, automatically it saves it in RetroArch downloads. So you would need to move that over to... Not a big fan of it. I should do this. I probably can do this in Ubuntu. Okay, so I'm going to use my 10 Ubuntu's operating system to uh, have a look. This, this Discs app is really useful for seeing which one you've got. You can see that because it's partitioned up, that's my RetroPie 4.6. So now I've got to find those downloads. Where was it? It was, oh, it's there, look. Right, so I need to cut that, because I don't want that on there. And I'm going to put it on to my USB stick. Right, so RetroPie mount, ROMs, PlayStation, and just paste it in there. And of course, I can I can work out what they are later. Oh, not enough space, look. Oh, I can't copy anyway, so I think I'll put it on the desktop for now, make some space, and then put it there. So let's just grab those two and drag them to the desktop. And then I'll sort that out later. 
Turns out it was a different disc in my machine, uh, but I've redone Rallycross and uh, it's worked absolutely fine. The default folder for download seems to go back to the, the same position where it was. Uh, so you might want to change that every time or just get used to where it downloads to and, and then anyone pull those show you out some footage there, from and then the put game. them on your Thanks very much for watching. Please so like you can play the game and subscribe.